well, I'm excited about the 2023 class is I think, you know, as we've been recreating and creating the culture within this program, you know, this group of players is really buying into that. And I think that's what they chose to come to OU because of that. And it's about the people and it's about the players. And, you know, each one of them brings something different, but all very special in, in their own, in their own way. Malia comes from the Pittsburgh area. Malia is, is a wide attacking player. With this new shape that we've introduced this spring, we do play with wing backs where they're kind of a hybrid between a full back, an outside back, and a back four, and a winger in a front three. Malia can do that wing back position very well because she's got a great engine and she's got a lot of speed and she's got a lot of energy to go forward, but she has that also that, that fitness base, that aerobic base that she can cover that sideline. Her progression in high school each year, last year in her senior year scoring over 20 goals, I believe, and, and finishing in the top 10 of all time in her high school scoring. And again, Malia was somebody that, that wanted to be here at OU. And that goes a long way because we want people that want to be here. Ellie Greenwell is coming from the Cincinnati area, although she is from Kentucky, so from Northern Kentucky. She plays for Kings Hammer Soccer Club, which is competes in the ECNL, which is one of the highest leagues that a, a youth player can compete in in the country. She's also a state champion at Notre Dame Academy. She comes from Notre Dame Academy where Mandy Arnzen was Mandy graduated from us uh, four or five years ago and was actually an assistant coach with Notre Dame Academy. And Ellie is another one of those players that has a lot of energy, great engine, can run all day, is a wide player, can play fullback, can play in the wingback position, um, and somebody that is just a, a great effervescent personality that will fit in um, wonderfully with the group. Jameson, coming from Olentangy Liberty High School in Columbus. Jameson uh, probably is on paper the most decorated player coming in this class, was, a, was an All-American, was a high school All-American uh, and a youth All-American. And, and she's a, an attacking player. She can play in the forward position, she can play in the midfield, and she's very versatile. So knowing that she has all those, uh, that all that ability and flexibility, you know, not quite sure where she's gonna fit in, but we know she has the soccer mind, the technical ability, the ta tactical ability to be able to contribute on the field. So it'll be up to her and the team on where she fits in, but really excited about having her come in and, and utilizing that skill set that she has. Anna comes from um, not a huge hotbed of soccer in Eastern Kentucky, but brings a huge heart. And she was Miss uh, Soccer in the state of Kentucky last fall, um, leading goal scorer of all time in the state of Kentucky and is a goal scorer. She is just an out and out goal scorer. And if you get the ball to her in the box, she's gonna score. In the club scene, she was able to play for um, a club that kind of comprise players from Eastern Kentucky, Southern Ohio, West Virginia, and they were able to travel all over Region 1 uh, and compete. And they did really well, three-time or four-time state cup champions for the state of Kentucky, competing in regionals every year. Um, so she was able to play um, at, at a pretty good level. Uh, and I know that she's going to be able to transition well. And she's, she's physical, strong, has a nose for the goal. I think she's going to do going to do really well. Ella Devers. So Ella is transferring in from Bowling Green. When we were thinking about what we were needing to add to our roster for this fall, Ella fits that mold perfectly. Number one, she comes from a club in youth soccer in the in the Cleveland area that we've had players and a lot of success with players come from that er that club in that area. And knowing her player profile and what she is very good at, she's gonna be able to fit in really well as a wide back, as a wing back. She redshirted last fall at Bowling Green, but was able to compete uh, this spring with Bowling Green. So she has 
um, some experience playing at the MAC level and training with a very good MAC team in Bowling Green. So we're excited for her to join us in the fall. Maya Solis transferred in, so she will be um, first time playing with us. She actually came in in January, so she transferred mid-year from Michigan State. She's from Toledo, played for a Detroit club, Michigan Hawks, which is one of the top clubs in the country. Plays in the back line, uh, played center back for us this spring, and immediately made a huge impact for us. And, and that was something, again, where as we continue to to move through cycles of classes and we graduated a lot and we graduated some some defenders it was a it was a, a a line that we wanted to strengthen and bring depth in and Maya was able to step in this spring and and really make a huge impact and I know she's going to make a huge impact for us uh, on the field in the fall and, and for the years to come Maria is a goalkeeper from Avon Lake High School Maria stood out in our mind. Not that, that the other players in this class wanted to be here at OU. Maria made it known from day one. She wanted to be a Bobcat and she was so persistent coming to all of our ID camps, always staying in communication with us, always telling us when she was playing, sending us video. And so we knew that as we were adding a goalkeeper to this class, that Maria was the one that, that we would take in this class because of her just pure excitement and desire to be a part of our program. That right there speaks in volumes of, of her character and who she is and, and it will add a lot to our our talented goalkeeping crew that we have already. They love each other, they, they love being around each other, they love training together, they love pushing each other. Riley um, plays for the same club as Jameson in Columbus, Ohio Premier, which is a top club in, in the ECNL and in the state of Ohio. The thing that, that sticks out for me on Riley is just her love to play. And you can see that when you watch her play because she never stops. And one of the things that, that we look for initially in players is just how much they work. And, and it's not so much just aimless running, but how much they do to help their teammates, how much they do to put pressure on the ball, how much do they do if they lose the ball or when they win the ball. And those are the qualities that when you watch Riley, you can just, you can see it oozing out of her. She can play a lot of different positions. I think she can play in the center of midfield. She can play in a wide position. I think her skill set and her energy level le lends herself to being someone that covers a lot of ground. Both her parents played in, in college uh, and I know she's going to be able to, to contribute. The Taven's an interesting one because she comes from the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I have a long relationship with Taven's parents. My very first year coaching college soccer was at the University of North Texas and Taven's mom was on that team. Taven's father, I coached soccer camps with every summer when I was in college. They came up for a visit and they just, they really loved it. Players from outside of this region they don't really recognize what it's like to be here. And when they come and visit, they fall in love with Athens. So Taven is Taven's a defender, so she's gonna she's gonna definitely help us and 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 fill some of those uh, gaps that we have in the back line. She is another one. You talk about enthusiasm, she has it. Somebody that's that's willing to put her body on the line to defend. And so we really we really like that. Sydney Crow is, she's going to hate me when I say this, but it's okay because this is the kind of environment and culture we have. Um, Sydney Crow is the, probably the quietest of this group. Um, and again, like we've had players all through the years that coaches think, oh, they're so quiet and shy, but then you ask the teammates and they're like, no, she's crazy. She's the life of the party or whatever. And so I'm sure Sydney's going to be the same way. Um, but, but Sydney, Sydney is, 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 is quiet and I would say um, kind of a, a quiet ninja. Uh, she can play, again, similar to Riley um, in the sense that I think she's very versatile where she can play. She can play out wide, she can play in the midfield. 
Um, she, on her youth, on her club team, um, and she, she comes from the Cup Club in Cincinnati. First saw her playing club soccer, and then she came to one of our ID camps, and she just dominated the ID camp. And, and that was where, at that point, I think we thought, you know, Sydney is somebody that we want in our program. You get to know her, get to see her enthusiasm for the game, her explosiveness, her energy, and, and that's where we decided at that point, you know, we want Sydney in the program.